You can easily use your Selenium test to run scalable load tests on Redline, and you only need to change how you access WebDriver, while none of your automation code needs to be changed. First, we will begin by installing WebDriver on our computer. Now that the Redline web driver has been installed, here we can see the differences between the standard web driver and the Redline web driver. As you can see, you only need to change how you load your Selenium web driver. Additionally, underneath, you can see inside the web driver source and notice that you only need to access the driver from a single call. Next, we can begin to prep our web driver test. In this video, I'll be using a sample test that we've already created. This test will hit the website cmsmadesimple.com. On it, it will then search for non-existent content, it will search for some existing content, it will then navigate through said content, and then eventually go home. We can then open up the test and any, edit any parameters if needed. I will then rename the test to test.js and drag it into my home directory. Now we will run our web driver test locally to ensure everything checks out. Once completed, we can now upload our test to Redline. Begin by logging into your account, hit Start Test, and then click Custom Test. Now we will upload our test from our home directory to Redline. And then for this test, we're going to simulate 50 users, and then we'll click to check save the response output from individual tests. We will then expand the advanced cloud options to set up our load agents. For this test we will be using one M4.2x large server in Virginia. We will use spot instances to save even more money and then we will add any needed subnet IDs and security group IDs. We will then move on to the advanced custom test options to set up the remainder of the test. For WebDriver tests of this nature, we will need to use the Node Version Manager plugin and the WebDriver Node.js plugin. If you can't see these plugins, make sure you enable them under your user settings. We will then select the correct version of Node.js and then we'll check Phantom.js under the Selenium WebDriver support. If needed, we can also track specific domains only track metrics related to those domains, and even capture screenshots of errors as they occur. Finally, we will name our test and then start it. Once the servers have spun up, our tests will begin and we can view our results coming in at real time. Once our test is completed, we will then be redirected to our results page. Here we will can see the summary of our test and view everything that happened. As you can see, this test costs us just 11 cents to run. We can then expand the details to see, you know, when the test was started and when it was stopped. We can see what servers were used, uh, specifically on our test server section. We can also then look at our output files as well, where we can have our generated Apache JMeter web report. So I'll show you, we'll walk through this real quick. Um, if you need even more metrics and graphs, you can just drop this into your browser and you'll be presented with the JMeter dashboard report. As we can scroll down, um, we will see our percentile results, our overview metrics, our request metrics, uh, you know, the page request per second, page average response time. And again, all these graphs are interactive. We can toggle, uh, toggle the graphs, download them as needed, and you know, that's just some of the great stuff that you can do with Redline. And there you go. That's how you can easily and affordably use your Selenium tests to run them as cloud load tests. Hope you guys found this video informative, and we'll see you in the next one.